I have goosebumps right and now. I think that this is, this is a game changer in terms of being able to use content for your stories and stuff like that. So we have a lot of work to do. All right. So we're going to do a new chat. Okay. So I'm going to ask for GPT-4. I'm like, give me um, a sample police report of a grisly double murder for a thriller novel. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. I'm gonna show a kind of a cool technique here. Um, how many of you have ever asked it to give you a sample police report? Visible on his neck, witnesses, bloody fireplace poker, suspected to be used in the murder of Mrs. Harrington. Okay, end of the report. So here's what we're going to do. Okay, I'm going to go to Google Docs. The reason I'm using Google Docs and not uh, Notion for this is because Notion won't export into plain text. Okay, so I have this report here. Now, this report is only 494 words. You could make it longer. You could add multiple reports. You could have an entire catalog of serial killer reports here. That like you could have it do 10 reports for a serial killer of like his crimes or whatever, and then throw it all into one document. And now I'm going to download it as a plain text file. Okay. And for those of you who don't know what we're doing, just hold tight. I'm going to come back over to ChatGPT. In your settings, you're going to want to go to beta features and turn on this code interpreter. Okay. Now, once you do that, um, we're going to go to a new chat and we're going to go to GPT-4, but we're going to say that we want the code interpreter. Is everyone following so far? You go to your settings and you turn on beta features code interpreter, start a new chat and bring on GPT-4 code interpreter. I'm going to click this plus sign and I'm going to upload the police report. So it's there. And I'm going to say, we are using the police report as a basis for a true crime thriller. Please write me a full outline of that story based on the police report details and fill in the rest. So here we go. So it's going to read it. I'm going to show the work. Let's read the content of the police report. So it's doing this. Based on the creep report, Whispering Oaks echoes of guilt. It's got the address. Detective Jane Fitzpatrick. So it pulled that from the report that we had. It's a, do you see how it pulled the Harringtons? This is, this is an application for anything that you want to throw into a document and then upload it into this and say, hey, I need you to start answering questions. I need you to start working from it. It can save you time on prompting. It also can get it to in, give it information for it to start brainstorming. So we have this. Cool. Let's try this. Write me a detailed step-by-step -step instruction list to write the scene where the murders took place. And it's going to use that document again. Because it's all still in the same, the same thought process here. Talk about her lifeless eyes staring at nothing, her formal dinner clothes torn and stained with wine and blood. Um, let's write the scene details. However, I want this to be staged. The police report makes it look like the Harringtons killed each other. I want an outline of a scene that imagines this is a serial killer's work for the book. So I gave it that information. Here you go. So it's got a masked figure. It's not their first time. The practice movements reveal a disturbing familiarity. We did figure out that PDF sucks. It, PDFs run the risk of the AI not interpreting it very well. So the other night I 
brought up a story Bible in there in the PDF and it did not understand it, but as a plain text, it did. So that's the scary, scary thing about that. Now let's do something else with this document really fast, because I think that this also shows the functionality of it. It's not necessarily writing horror, but I think it's a good, it's a good thing to do. So now let's ask an advanced thinking question. Okay. So what clues um, could possibly indicate that this murder was staged? Okay, so this is some advanced synthesis. It doesn't directly suggest the murder was staged. As an author, you could interpret certain details. Too neat of an arrangement. So it starts to give you your red herrings, everyone. I would really love a command right now that I could say, great, wrap all of this and submit this into a zip file. Yeah, but you, you do have to help it along. And what I mean by that is, let's say I had a zip file that was like the police report and also um, the CCTV footage uh, report from the forensic technician scientist or whatever, and the ME's report. So I have these like three documents in here. Um, you're going to have to say, looking at the medical examiner's report and the police report, where would there be, shoot, let's just do it. Write me a, for the victims. Yeah, there uh -huh. could be all kinds of different stuff. So you could put together a whole dossier of evidence for your mystery and then have those documents that you can very easily put in here and say, we're writing this scene, consult these documents if you need any information. Okay, great. I'll do the copy button, Leland. <laughs> so we'll call this the medical examiner's report. First, I've got to download the medical examiner's report. And then I will zip them up. Okay, I'm gonna rename this to Harrington case. Sounds all very official. Let's go with a new chat. Um, as far as I understand, 3.5 does not have code interpreter, so only four does. So you have to be working in four and you have to tell it you want the code interpreter. You'll know you have the code interpreter if you have this plus sign down here for upload file. So I'm gonna upload that Harrington case zip. Now, I don't even tell it that this is, well, it does actually have in here that this is for the fiction of a book because it says that at the bottom of the medical examiner's con content. So it's going to extract these things. So it opened up the zip file. It's creating a destination folder. It's doing all this on their back end and you lose it as soon as you're out of the, uh, as soon as the chat's gone. So Mac OS, so we have police report. Okay, so there's the show the report. So it's looking at the police report and it's literally making a summary right now. No immediate have been identified but the investigation's ongoing. Interviews with close friends, relatives, and coworkers are also ongoing. And I think that the way that we're going to work this into our process processes are, we're going to use this as shorthand to start combining the information that the AI may need to retrieve on a regular basis. That, that is something I'm, I'm planning to experiment more with. Like that's one of the things I have an idea of, of, like I can make all these little text files and then I can just go follow the instructions of the text file, follow the instructions of the text file and do a step-by-step -step process. Because if the step-by-step -step instructions are always in that document, it should be able to like, we could re reference that document and say like, I could put writing instructions, let's do it. So we're gonna go back to Google Docs. Okay. You are an incredible thriller writer of best-selling novels. You use case information to make your writing more vivid and exciting. This particular book involves a domestic dispute, double murder. Here is your process. One, read the documents, uh, police report, and medical examiner report and make a list of all characters that could be in the novel. Two, write an outline of at least 20, let's go slower, let's go 10 chapters that will tell the story from beginning to end write a step-by-step -step outline for chapter one, four, write chapter one, 
repeat steps three and four for each chapter. Okay. I don't know if this is going to work, but we're going to give it a shot. Download this back into cheat codes, save it there, and then new chat, GPT-4. If this works, I'm quitting my day job. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's unzipping the file. It's got writing instructions, okay. We'll read the content of writing instructions to understand what needs to be done. Let's start with the release report. Oh my gosh, everyone. So now it's pulling the contents. So the medical examiner's report, it's got the characters so far. Let's move on to the next step, creating the chapter outline for the novel. It's alternating the points of view. I just did it, y'all. I don't have to keep copying and pasting. Okay. Now it's missing like the writing style. I didn't tell it how to write or anything like that. So that's one, like th this is where we're finding these edges. Like I, right now, I'm just happy that it's, it's functioning. Next step would be to outline and write the subsequent chapters. Yes. <laughs> Great. Because guess what? I can take these little mini ones with the outline and tell Claude to go go ham and, and extend and expand them. You guys. Thank you. This is the direct result and work out of our lab sessions with Future Fiction Academy. If you'd like to sign up, the link is in the description. Eight times a week, we are getting together with the top authors using AI, and we are solving all of the problems for our members. So any questions they have about editing prompts or writing new material with AI, and how what does that look like for the human to write with AI? So I hope you enjoyed this video, and stay tuned for more. Good luck with your writing projects.